so long since I've actually made me an entire YouTube video. But I'm going to jump right into this video. It's going to be on these two website banners. And I made them directly in Canva using the photos that I've created that will be dropping on June 14th at 12 p.m. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get started. And while I'm designing it, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about where have I been and like what's been going on. First of all, if you guys did not know, Canva did get a new whole glow up with a whole bunch of different updates. If you did miss it, you have to wait till August in order to get the glow up like everybody else. But that's it. So for my banners, I always use custom size and it's always 2000 by 850 pixels. For me, this is the perfect size. But anyways, I have just been here. So I recently started school again. Um, so I've been juggling school, business, personal life amongst other things um i've been trying to find like a balance literally between everything and sometimes it's hard i won't even lie trying to balance everything and then other days it's easier so you know you have your good days your bad days um for me i've been having a few good days really good days but then there's times where i'm like ish um but nonetheless everything else has been good i did go ahead and like deleted everything off of my instagram if you guys have not been following my instagram page then you guys probably did not know but everything that i had all of my tutorials and everything i just deleted it off it was kind of one of those decisions that you knew that you had to make just because it was weighing so heavy on me to do like I, so when I originally started my business, it was solely for me to, you know, start this solely for me to start designing. And it was because I needed extra income that did not require me to have inventory on hand because of the situation that I was in. Now, granted, that's how everything started towards, you know, I started doing it more. I started to fall in love with it. I'm like, yeah, this is nice. I can, you know, I can get down with it. So, you know, I kept on doing, kept on doing it. And then it kind of turned into, after I was watching other people making all this money, it kind of turned into like, you know, this money thing. Like, you know, I just want the dollars, the dollars like everybody else. And then I had to realize that my business is set apart. My business is not meant to just serve me. My business is meant to serve other people. And with the mindset that I had, it had me in the space of, I'm just creating content because I want the dollars. I wasn't creating content that people loved. I wasn't creating the content that I knew that my audience would have resonated with. I was solely creating content that I knew that would generate me money. I was too busy trying to catch, like, I was too busy trying to follow the dollar that I no longer honestly and truly cared about what my audience wanted to see. So that in turn led me to, once again, just posting random behind stuff like when I say the most random stuff I was just posting and on top of that I was looking at everybody else's business but I wasn't looking at my own business and I wasn't taking in consideration what my followers had actually told me that they wanted to see I was like one of those people where I would ask you guys hey what you want me to see but then I still wouldn't listen to you guys and it was just like no Drana something has to give and then on top of that because I was just in a headspace of hey I want this money, I want this money, it turned to me literally just posting on my page when I knew that I was having an event coming up. It was me posting on my page when I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to drop something. And most of the stuff that I was doing, like in terms of my classes and stuff, those were classes that I didn't really put any thought into. It was like, okay, I kind of need some money, let me just make these quick classes. And it was like, I got to the point, I was like, I'm not seeing any fruit. And when I say fruit, I wasn't even talking about, like, at one point when I said fruit, I was talking about money. But then the more I realized when I said I wasn't seeing any fruit, I wasn't seeing people I impacted. Like, I was not seeing the community that I once had built. I was just seeing people that, hey, was buying stuff and that was it. It was not the community that I actually needed. It wasn't the community that... I needed to nurture it was just for me it was just I need the dollars and I'm gonna get it by any means necessary and that turns into 
me doing really stuff that was unethical because I would literally create something at night and then post about it and be trying to get sales. And then I'll be over here talking about some, oh, nobody want to buy from me. No, it's not that nobody wants to buy from you. It's that your intentions behind what you put out was not pure. Like, I had to realize that God doesn't bless nonsense. He does not bless nonsense. He does not bless anything that doesn't make any sense. He is not a rewarder of ignorance. He is a rewarder of goodness. Like, he's a rewarder of those who seek him. Those who actually do things the right way. Like, we can't expect for God to bless us if we're over here just doing stuff our way. And we're trying to, number one, do stuff like the world because doing stuff like the world is just so, when I tell you, it's just so, ugh. It's very much, uh, and it's for somebody who been, I've, I've been in the world before. It's not, it's ghetto. It's really much ghetto, and I didn't like it at all. It was not fulfilling. Like, while you're in it, you would really think that it's fulfilling, but it does not fulfill you at all. Like, at all you would think oh man i'm on top of the world and then when i realized that it 100 percent was not fulfilling me was when i was with was when i was like okay something gotta give when i was like you know what i'm gonna stop doing whatever i was doing and maybe one day i'll get maybe one day god would tell me to tell my testimony um 100 but it was so point where i was like you know what what I'm doing is just to make no sense. And, like, the more that I was, you know, listening to sermons or listening to prayers or even talking with my stepmom was the more that I realized that, Janna, you was never really happy. And, like, every time that I think on it and I look back at it, it's like, no. This was, like, a temporary feeling. You ever... It's like that... Temp, it was a temporary high. It's like you thought that these things were going to fulfill your every need, but... It wasn't like it wasn't and that's our some people like that's the problem with society today we want like this temporary high we want something that'll temporary fix us and it's like no we need something that is going to sustain us for a long time and the very thing that we need to sustain us is God Jesus the Father the Son and Holy Spirit it's, it's the three Trinity and it's like I feel like once I realized what that was like granted my life is not my life is not perfect by any means, but I do strongly believe that my life is better than what it was. Way better. Like, even mentally, it's better because, honey, the things that I used to think were okay, I realized that, girl, bye. Like, what you learned, you legitly had to unlearn. Half of the stuff that I learned growing up... I had to unlearn it and I had to throw it in the garbage because I realized that some of those things that I had learned and some of those things that I thought were okay because it was told by me, by family members, it was told by me, by all these other people in the churches or whatever, I had to realize that, no, this is wrong, like, wrong. And I had to wonder, what Bible are y'all reading? And I have this saying, too. I feel like they just be clocking in and clocking out at church because ain't no way y'all reading the same quote-unquote Bible, but y'all doing the exact opposite so it was just like mm -mm. so i've literally have been just like number one trying to learn a lot of stuff and then number two getting myself to be at a place where i am content with number one what i have and i'm content at my progress that i'm making that i'm not trying to make my progress so fast i'm not trying to have this like fast quick fast hurry success or quick fast hurry Income. No, I want to be able to nurture my people who comes into my page. Like, my, I've realized that my business, number one, is not to serve me. My business is not to serve me. So, there's going to be some things that I don't want to do, but I will have to do it because my business is meant to serve others. My business is meant to serve people. For example, these AI stock photos, people have been asking me, can you teach me, you know, can you teach me, can you make a class? I have never wanted to teach a class on this, but this is something that my followers ask me to do. And I know that this is something that will help serve them in the long run. This is something that can help them make extra money. This is something that they can do for a hobby. This is something that will serve them more than it serves me. So honestly and truly, I've learned that we have to kind of put ourselves as business owners and especially as 
Christian entrepreneurs, we got to put ourselves on the back burner for a little bit and come to the realization that our business is not for us. Our business is not for us. And once I realized that, when I started my page over and I started posting things that I knew that people would actually like, my content has actually been so much better. And yesterday, I even made a post on Instagram. I was like, my main focus and my main goals is not even about followers at this point. Because I feel like you can have 100,000 followers and you're still not touching and reaching the people you're supposed to be. You can have a million followers and you're still not being able to turn them followers into a community like so my main goal and my focus now is literally trying to build back my community to the way that it was before because i did have an amazing i had an amazing community and it's like at times one thing about me i'm very honest about anything and I think that's kind of one of my problems is that I'm so honest that I start to talk my own business and then that's how stuff that's how the enemy be getting in your way because he know he knows he knows that you like to talk your business and it's like you're just talking it because you know it's like okay yeah you want to share certain stuff with people so you just start talking it but it's like no certain things you can't share with them but um so like I'm gonna be honest. My my community that I had before, like anything I anything that I put out there, they bought it. They supported me. They gave me my reviews. They constantly came back, and that's the community I like. And not only because they gave me sales, but because they supported me and they always told me, "Hey, you are helping me so much." They came up and they showed me, um, they showed me what they learned. They showed me how they're using what I've taught them. That is what I want. Like. I'm sorry, no mm-mm. no amount of followers for me can equate to a genuine community. Granted, the followers, you can have you can have all the followers in the world and still have an amazing community, but it still comes to the point where what do you do with them followers and how do those followers play in your mind? If you're the type of person who you're just caring about your followers, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're doing it all wrong. If you're the type of person who you care about serving your community and you care about building community, you're doing everything right. And once you start serving those people, you're you're going to be a-okay. You're going to be a-okay. So I'm, 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 I've come to the point where I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I want the number in my bio to go up, but it's going to come. And when it does come, I'm going to be like, that's fine. I won't allow them numbers to change me. And I've realized that before because when when I had my, when I had um my low amount of followers, it was like 7,000. I was like, I was posting every single day. Like, y'all would see me on my, your timeline a lot, a lot, a lot. Then when I reached my 10K, I still was posting. I literally still was posting. But as I grew, I was like, oh, I'm getting all these followers. I don't have to post that much because blah, 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 right? And it was like, that right there, that right there was to see that the enemy had planted in my mind. He allowed me to believe that once because, one, just because I had this number of followers that I was good, I was setting a stone that everything was going to be peaches and cream. No. It was not. It was not. And it wasn't because, once again, I had allowed my love for Canva to turn into greed. It then became greed. It did not become just what God had told me to have it. My love for Canva turned out to be, I want this money and I want this money now. And I don't care. I'm going to post things that... And it was like every single time, granted... You know, we have to make money. But every it was like now to the point where every single time that I posted a video, I had in the caption, go buy this, comment the word this, and I'm going to send you the link for this. It was like, okay, can you not try to sell me something for once? Just, you know, allow me to decide if I want to buy something from you. But it's just so crazy how you just begin to realize stuff and you're like, huh, this is not how it goes. This, this ain't how it is. This is not how it is. But that's my little rant because I just feel like somebody just needed to know that, hey, change your mindset pertaining your business. Change your mindset pertaining your content. Change your mindset when it comes to your followers because followers does not equate to community. And followers do not equate to income. Followers, 
followers is just a number in your bio followers don't define you followers are not it's not what's going to make your business your business what's going to make your business your business is you and what you produce to your community that you already have because if you have a community that's willing and able to stick beside you through thick and thin that community will last a long time that would be that right there would means that you did exactly what your business was supposed to do Instead of just, like, looking at the numbers of your followers, like, that number in the bio, it means nothing to me now. It does, it means nothing to me. I'm not striving for more followers. I'm not striving for more followers. I'm not. i seen my followers. I lost 2,000 followers. I was okay with that. Because I'm like, that means that y'all was not actually here to bear witness to what I have to say or what I have to do. And especially when I made my page empty, it was like everybody just like, not everybody, but a lot of people just dropped like flies. And I was like, y'all was not here anyways. So I'm not upset. I'm not. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just glad that my mindset for this is definitely changing because, honey, mm-mm. But now, you guys, I post content that you guys love and content that I know will impact and help you guys and will serve you guys and all of your Canva needs, whether it's Canva, whatever type of needs it is, to be honest, because I'm just here to help you guys in any way, shape, or form. Whatever that I know and whatever I know that I can help you with, I'm going to help you guys. But that's my TED Talk for today. I made these two banners. As you can see, I used everything inside of Canva except for those photos and these fonts actually this font is called gallons and i got it from thefont.com but it was free but other than that everything else was literally literally came straight from the font not the font oh my gosh literally came from canva i'm not talking about the font literally came from canva but i hope you guys do enjoy i hope to see you guys um the next time I make a video, I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises to you guys. I do have to come up with a, like, new schedule that actually makes sense and does not have me feeling, like, burnt out. But if you guys want to know more about Canva, all the tips, tricks, and hacks, you guys can follow all of my social media platforms. My business name on Instagram is Randa Design Studios. You guys can follow me on TikTok because I have a bunch of... All my old videos are still on TikTok. It's also Randa Design Studio. You guys can, of course, watch my videos on YouTube. And, yeah, be sure to check the girl out and tell me what you guys liked about this design. And if you guys would be interested in seeing, like, more, what's your what's your, what's your your design vibe? Is it, like, girly? Is it minimal? Is it strict? Like, what is it? Um, but I do hope that you guys have an amazing and amazing day. And I'm going to catch you guys the next time.